Hi everybody, it's Luck Dragon Girl here with my 2018 Hallmark Ornament Keepsake Ornament Premiere Haul. I have a lot of ornaments to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. This is called Glistening Gift for You. It is the 2018 freebie for KOC members. It's a metallic there's club exclusive metallic snowflake that has been etched very similar to the one last year this one's in gold last year's was in silver and the design is different so I actually really like these snowflake ornaments uh, they're pretty cool I prefer the silver one though since I think it matches the snowflake look a little bit better Let's see next I have Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast another limited ornament He's very cute. He's in a little jumping pose, kind of. It's very dynamic. It's going to be interesting to hang him. His eyes are blue, which is really confusing to me because his eyes in the movie are black, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, and I've got all kinds of stuff on this table, so the camera keeps trying to focus on Veda. That's this doll. Keeps this doll here, the redhead. Keeps trying to focus on her face, so hopefully it recognizes ornaments. Hey, over here. Look. You can see his little mustache hands are hello, are very cute, detailed. Come on. There, that's a little better. It's just, I love Beauty and the Beast, so I have to get all the Beauty and the Beast ornaments. Then we have Skipper. Skipper is in the box design. They've done two different Barbies like this and a Ken like this as well as Hasbro's G.I. Joe like this, where the ornament is inside of a box, a reproduction box. Let me show you the box. It's Barbie's little sister. There we go. So for little fashions that you could have bought when she first came out. There's the back. It would have been cool if they did her as a brunette, but I'll take what I can get. I love these for my toy tree. I have um, the bubble cut Barbie and the Ken, as well as the G.I. Joe that's like this, so she'll go nicely with them. Her little red flats, her little bathing suit and headband, very cute. I think that might be the first time they've done Skipper. Then I've got the Precious Moments limited quantity piece. This is Tinkerbell, so they did repeat a character, which is irritating. I'll say I think this one's better than the original. I have this extremely long cord on her. I don't know why it's so long. There's her back eye coming out. You can see they did the pearlization on the pom-poms. That gold paint's very pretty. I do think this is better than the original one, I will say. I didn't buy the regular line Precious Almost yet. I usually don't buy that one at Premiere. It is Mary Poppins, so another repeat. She's in a different outfit and is on a carousel horse. So it's Tinkerbell. Hopefully one day we will get Elsa, Anna, Moana to finish up the princesses. But the next limited quantity one I got is the 1936 GMC pickup. Focus. Come on, baby. This ornament goes with the Nostalgic Houses and Shop series. So they did um Come on. A little better. They did a tree farm for the 2018 piece. So see, he's got a Christmas tree and a gift there. I think it's the cutest of the vehicles they've done. I really like it. I like the little spare tire. I like the detail of the little license plate in the front and in the back. And it will roll. So. The first vehicle they did in the accessories pack doesn't roll. So it's really nice that the vehicles roll now. The last limited quantity one I bought is, of course, if you know me, and you guys probably do a little bit here, the Father Christmas's reindeer. And we're really going to have to get rid of these dolls. Okay, come here, Veda. Come here, Diana. Whoop. At least she's wearing panties. There we go. Okay, shouldn't have done that earlier. I thought the camera could handle it. Let's move over here a little bit. 
Obviously, I overestimated the talents of the camera. Look. Focus. Let's see. Stop for There we go. Now we're fixed. They love to do the reindeer. They did the polar bear one time, but every time it's been a reindeer. I really wanted Mrs. Claus to patch him instead of a reindeer. This is really nice. The, the um, cardinals are there. You'll see on the regular Ormix. Of course, I bought Father Christmas. He's got these same cardinals. He's got some branches. It's very pretty. It does have a different shade of brown than what we're usually seeing. So in some photographs he looks red, but he's not red. And even on camera he's showing a little red. It is brown. Hallelujah. If it had been red, I would have still bought it because I love Father Christmas. But I would have been grumbling in my head about it. So Father Christmas compliment to Father Christmas' reindeer. Love him. Love the reindeer. A lot of people who don't even collect Father Christmas like to buy the reindeer. Just if they collect reindeer especially. Because they're beautiful. It's gorgeous. Moving on into series. I have to get Puppy Love at Premiere, of course. So this is Puppy Love number 28. This is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. I'm getting into mischief. Running around with some tinsels, garland. Hmm. Hey, little belly. The paws. So cute. I... Last year's became hard to find, the Husky, isn't that right? Yeah, the Husky did. So, this one I don't know how it's going to do. Sometimes if an ornament's really hard to find, they don't make as much of the next one. Or, wait, no, sorry. If it's hard to find, they make a little bit extra of the next one. So, we'll see. Corgis are very popular dogs. This may do extremely well. And I think I remember seeing on Facebook, a Facebook video, uh, Nita Mara Rogers, who designs these, got to send one of these ornaments to the Queen of England since you know Queen Elizabeth loves her corgis so she got one of these all right next up here he is Father Christmas number 15 it's been 15 years I can't believe it I bought every single one of these at premiere except for the first one I waited a bit at the time I wasn't buying the massive amount that I do now so I waited until I got another certificate and then bought him. Um, he's got a beautiful cardinal theme. So his coat this time is a knit kind of material. Kind of. There's some plaid here. It's got these embroidered cardinals and holly on it. These little gems are added on there too. All on the bottom. The bag's pretty. The bag has this detail on it. It's really neat. It kind of reminds me of uh, Birch Bark. Here's this message. We can actually read this message because it's not tied. Sometimes the tied ones, if I can't get the tie off, I don't bring them out to read. But Christmas brings happy memories that warm us all year long. Oh, they used to be so fancy because they went in with like, that is the spirit of Christmas. I miss those fancy ones. But that's okay. He's really, really pretty, and I think that he's going to be popular since some people love birds, and this would work very well for them. The cardinal is my state's bird. The northern cardinal is North Carolina's state bird. He'll be popular in my area for sure. So you know what? Even if they were left over after Christmas, I wouldn't care because I love them so much. I have to have him at premiere. Let's put them together. Show you what they look like. Oh. Ta -da! Very nice. Of course, he does come in, they call it African American version. I don't like calling it that because Santa's not from America. Santa's from the North Pole. Fall Christmas is from the North Pole. So he wouldn't be an African American at all because he's not an American. So I like to use dark complexion. <laughs> Very similar. Beard's a little different. They don't put the series marker on the darker complexion ones versus the light complexion. I don't know why. They probably should. Then you could just be like, hey, pick a choose. I feel obligated to always buy this one because of the series marker. Oh, well. There we are. The next one I got for my series is 12 Days of Christmas number 8. Oh, boy. Look, come on. There we 
go. Eight maids of milking. She's got her verse along her skirt. She's got her little aprons, kind of like the bird wings from the beginning of the series. It's got beautiful gold paint. It's just radiant, isn't it? The eight is on her milk pad. I mean, milk pail. And she's got her little shoes and her hair is in little buns with a little gold ribbon. People who are reviewing on Hallmark.com up until today, I don't think any reviews are up yet from today. You guys are jerks, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and say that. They're, some of these people have Mean Girl Syndrome and are really being mean to the artist. Saying things like, oh, they forgot how to, to sculpt and all this other cruel things. She's cute. Okay. They're saying because she looks like, someone says she looks like Disney Junior. It wasn't a review, but someone else on Facebook says she looks like a Disney Junior princess. Okay, here's the thing. Those birds were very cartoony. The first seven. You cannot have a face like, say, this. A Joanne Estrich super realistic face on this ornament and have it look like it belongs to the series. You can't do that. They have to look a little cartoony. And I'll admit, the photo that they use online and is probably one of the computer generated images. Those never look good. I wish they would stop using those. They always look plasticky and fake. She's much prettier in person. The people online complain, oh, it's, a, it's an all bird series. Okay, for one thing, the song is not about birds, okay? The song just is a memory song, and the first verses have a lot of birds in them, but once you get to eight, you're starting to do... Oh, I didn't even know she had milk in there. How? I should have guessed. I thought the pail was empty, but there's milk. Um, once you get to verse eight, it's people. When the KOC Dream Book came out, I think the year, that, either 2011 or 2012, so either the first or second year of the series, they had an article about this series. And in that article, they had a drawing of the ladies dancing ornament. It actually said, I love the ladies dancing, which is not what the song is. The song's supposed to be nine ladies dancing, and they have corrected it. It will be the next one in the series. But it was a, clearly a human being. And in the article, the artist talked about having trouble with verse five. So I think some people got confused when she did verse five as a bird. She did that as a bird because it's a difficult verse. You can't just do five rings and expect people to pay at the time it was $12.95. That wouldn't have looked like it was worth $12.95. So she did a bird to kind of tie it all together. It did not mean she was going to have a dang bird with a little milk bucket hanging from its legs. No. No people. Suck it up and deal with it. This is a song that has some birds, some humans. If you don't want to buy the ornament, fine. I'm sure it's not going to suffer. I bet it would have suffered a lot more if it had been birds. And I'm telling you right now, if this had been a bird, I would have stopped the series. Another clue that this wasn't going to be a bird was a few years ago they did miniature ornaments of this series. And they actually advertised them saying that they were going pre that they were previewing what the last verses would look like, including verse 8. And guess what? It was a human girl. It wasn't a bird. So, just, it's a human. It is what it is. Stop the series if you want to. Don't. It does. I don't care. Complaining online is fine if you want to do that. But do not fuss at the artist and say the work's bad. This is not bad work. You can't do this. You don't have the talent to do this. I guarantee you the people who are reviewing cannot sculpt like this. They can't. And it just aggravates me. This is perfectly fine. This is a beautiful little ornament. Blue is lovely. I'm glad she's in blue. The little miniature ornaments, I don't have them, but they were all done in white and gold. So you couldn't tell what the colors were going to be. That's just my opinion. If you don't like it, you can dislike the video if you want. But people who wanted birds, you lost. Those of us who didn't, we won. Deal. Hallmark's not stupid. They knew birds would, wouldn't have sold. You've got plenty of birds series to pick from. Look how cute she is. How can you get mad at this little face? She's so cute. Poor little thing. I love you, little girl. The next series I bought was Tea Time number three. Hold on. There we go. It's a nutcracker. and I love nutcrackers. This is my favorite in this series so far. And the little cup is 
a walnut. Very appropriate. He's so pretty. He's probably my favorite ornament of the year. Next year's one, I believe, is the snowman. So we've already seen it. Well, some of us have seen it. Some of you, it's a surprise. Hey, it's a snowman. Which, okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> it kind of bugs me a little bit because there was a prequel to the series offered to, a pre-series piece offered to KOC members. And it was a snowman. It technically is even better than this one, so it would be my favorite overall. But this is probably my favorite ornament of the year. I just really love him because I love Nutcrackers. Show you the back. It's just so cute. And he's so squat looking because most of the Nutcrackers are tall and elegant. Ding. Very sweet. Very cute. Love him. Love him. Love him. Moving on to miniature ornament series. Got a World Within number four. This is my new favorite for this series. It is a little soldier in front of a tree with presents and he's inside a drum ornament and this is so detailed and pretty. There's a little snow dripping out. I love this series so much. The first one was really cute. The second one with the church is a little, eh, to me. It's not very colorful. It's part of my problem with it. Third one last year was amazing. This one is even more amazing. Next year I think it is a Santa Claus inside a Christmas tree shaped ornament. I know it's a tree shape. I feel like it's a Santa Claus. There he is. I like this series better than the big series, the Inside Story, which ends this year. It's a KFC members series. I think these are more detailed, honestly. So sweet. Love this one. Then, you guys probably didn't know I started this series. I never got around to showing it, but this is a Creature with Stirring number three. I wasn't going to start this series. Then I think it was when the second one came out, I went to the store and they had like one of the first ones. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and buy it in case I like the next one. This one's my favorite of the series so far. And we're getting number four later this year. So they're putting out two a year for some unknown reason. And I think it's a six piece series, so it should end in 2019 if they put out two again. He's so cute napping in front of this clock. It's about to strike midnight. Just sleeping away. His little quilt, so precious. My last series ornament is Christmas Carousel number two, which apparently I forgot how hands work. There we go. This one, last year was the Santa sleigh with the reindeer. This year it's horses, it's beautiful horses. There's a black horse, a tannish colored horse, a white horse, and a gray horse. Let them go up and down when you turn the knob. I love this black horse with the blue. It's my favorite. And I love this one too. They're actually in order how I like them the most. The black, the tan, the white, and the gray. They each have a different saddle color. And I love this green on top. Oh, I'm looking forward. Next year's the last one. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be. So I'm trying to think of what it could be. I'm hoping it's zoo animals. That'd be great. I'm going to miss this series though, man. It's so annoying that it's ending. Okay. So next I have just miniature ornaments that I bought. This one kind of ties into a series, so let's see. This is the Red Tanager, which is based off of Beauty of Birds Red Tanager. That was a KOC event bird. And I just usually buy the birds I don't have, so this is one I don't have. So I don't have the event birds. Although I did break that last year and I bought Cedar Waxwing on sale after Christmas. I was just in a buying mood and I saw that one and it's actually one of my favorite ones in the series so I bought it. So I broke my rule. Though so let me see which ones I have. I don't have I don't I have the Cardinal in the mini, the Cardinal, the Chickadee, the Blue Bunting, which is my favorite of the minis. I wish I had the big one. I should have thought about that when people were offering to sell theirs but darn it I didn't think about it um I have the hummingbird which is based off the KOC colorway and now I have this one now I need what I need to, I need them to do the I know they did a um pine grass beacon blue so I need that one to come out and then I should have all of them that's the red tanager it's got the same little gems in it that the big ones have very pretty 
That's actually my least favorite of the KOC birds. This is Jeannie's Lamp. It is a metal ornament with a little gemstone accent. Very beautiful. It's going to tie in nicely with Cinderella's Slipper, which I bought last year after Christmas. This one, I don't know if it will make it after Christmas. A lot of people on Facebook who work at Hallmark stores said this sold out on wishlist. My store sold out on wishlist so hard that they didn't even put the display up. They sold it in a wishlist. And they had, the lady in front of me was just berating the manager because she didn't get the genie's lamp. It was on her wish list. She's like, I was wishlist number 87. In pre past years, I've been anywhere in the 90s and the 100s. I've always gotten the ornaments and she was just really angry about it. Oh, by the way, guys, I also wish it was number one, because obsession. <laughs> uh, the day I got my KOC Dream Book in the mail, I filled out that wish list, drove it to Hallmark, and dropped it off. But, yeah, she was not happy. I was thinking, lady, it's okay. Like, if your store's out of this, they're going to get more. This isn't a, what you call POS, which is permanently out of stock. The website has this, too. If you need it, you wanted to get your bonus points for it, you can order it from the website. And a lot of stores participate in the program where they will ship it to the store for free. So get it from there. My goodness. I mean, where I live, there are three Hallmark stores in my town. Okay? So you just go to another one if you want to, if it's that big of a deal. But he said he was going to get it for me. She still was fussing. Like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If you want this, though, this is a very pretty ornament. So I would get it sooner rather than later since it seems so popular. The next miniature I have is Up and Away. Which is the little hot air balloon Santa. So cute. I love hot air balloons. There's a range here in there. And, um, oh, that's a crown cape. <laughs> I thought it was a series marker. I'm going, wait, this isn't a series. It's a reindeer. Next year, the 2019 local club ornament will be like this, except it's Mrs. Claus. So, gotta love that. The next thing, bench warrant wise, I got is this set. It's called the Miniature Decorative Ornaments. Oops, hold on, it's upside down. There, there's a reason that happened. Let me fix that box. There we go. So when I got home, um, I started taking these out to look and make sure everything was good. And this ornament right here was broken, so I had to go back. It was missing a whole corner of the star. So I went back and they just gave me one from another box. So we've got six ornaments in three different main colors. This is like the white color. It's like that classic ornament that gets dipped. These were uh, handmade blow glass ornaments from Poland. Here's another one very similar. Are they exact same? They're, they're the same color. Oh, oh well. Yeah, they are. It doesn't really matter. I think that's how they're supposed to be anyway. And there's a star. The star that was broken on mine. Oh, sorry. Snowflake. Glitter. Same here, except this one's in gold. There we have a heart in red. Pretty little snowflake symbol. And a heart in gold, which doesn't want to come out of the box. Well, this is a free set if you're buying four or more miniature ornaments from Hallmark at Premiere. So, if you are, get this. It's free. <laughs> Don't just let it stay there. Very nice. Um, would I have bought it if I hadn't got it for free? No, because I have a lot of miniature ornaments, but free I'll take. So, moving on to some non-magic, non-series, non-miniature ornaments. We've got, let me fix this. There we go. 45 Years of Memories, which is a porcelain whoop, porcelain rocking horse. This is based on rocking horse number 5. It's 1973 to 2018. 45 Years of Memories. This is set up exactly like the 40 Years of Memories from 5 years ago. That was based on number 1. And what irritates me is when you think about it, then this should be based off number six. And number six is my favorite in the series, so I'm a bit biased toward it. But I do like this one. I like this one better than number one, so very happy with this. This is the 1985 Pony, the Rocking Horse. My favorites in this series are 1986, then 1987, then 1988, then 1985. So right in the middle. 
Well, maybe not 85 next. It might be like 96 could be bigger for me for that. I don't know. I really thought about it. But little blue gems. The other one since had red rockers had red gems. This is so much more colorful than the last one. And like the original series, the tail's made out of yarn. I have all the original series except for number one. Now, one day, hopefully, I'll have it. If not, I've got the porcelain version. This is Hallmark Keepsake. It's very pretty. The first one was pretty easy to find. The first porcelain rocking horse like this. I'm not sure how this one will do. It might do the same. might not. So, let's move that over here. The next ornament I have is Firefly. She's a Pegasus Pony. She's one of the first two Pegasus Ponies they released for My Little Pony. I wish they'd done Medley, which was the other one that they released the same year in the same post. Just because Medley is green and we already have a pink pony. We have Cotton Candy from, I'd like to say, 2014. And last year we had the Unicorn, oh, Cotton Candy's North Pony. The Unicorn um, came out last year and now Pegasus. So we've got all three of the main types. Hopefully we'll eventually see maybe a sea pony or at least some more of these. It's got that same uh, weirder texture that these have a rubbery plastic. So luckily I didn't have the problem I had on the last one where the mane was stuck to it. This one just a little bit was stuck to this part of its, of her tail. That's Firefly. She wasn't on my wish list. I thought I was buying too much, but and actually guys, I spent less than I did last year, so, at least in the store. So I can't complain too much. But um, I decided to treat myself to her because I got a new job. I'll start that next month. I'll get to be teaching in a school. So that'll be fun teaching uh, high schoolers science. So in honor of that, I went ahead and bought Firefly here. A little treat. Okay, so next we have um let's see let's see this one next i have a premium ornament this is snow white this is for the 80th anniversary of the film which i think was last year but oh well <laughs> better late than ever she is laying sitting here with the bluebird a chipmunk and a deer a little foot sticking out it's got kind of a gold paint around the edge of her skirt and on her shoe back sides a really nicely done premium ornament I do have the premium ornament baby mine. I bought that back in, I think, February. As soon as the store got them in, I bought one. Um, it was part of the everyday keepsake, so it's been around since the beginning of the year. She's so pretty. I decided to get her to encourage them to continue the Disney princesses in the premium line because the other princess or what they did, which I bought as well, is Belle. It's called Christmas Belle, I think, on the box, but in the book, I I believe it's just called Belle. This is Belle in the hello. Hi. What focus on her? Come on. Come on. There we go. She sent her enchanted Christmas dress, which Hallmark has never done this dress. Hallmark, every Belle ornament they've done has been the yellow ball gown, except for the first Belle ornament <coughs> was in her pink outfit. You do not see the enchanted Christmas dress show up much. That's really cool to see. This is a um, crushed velvet. It's just overlaid over the skirt. Her skirt's fine. Even if they didn't do the crushed velvet, that was fine. She's actually holding a little ball ornament that a, has a rose on it. She's got her little draped sleeves. She's got her pretty gold bow in the back. Her hair. She looks a little mature in the face to me. Just a bit more mature than the character actually looks. It's... It's not bad, it's just a little different. So we're going to say this is a few Christmases later after being married for a while. So she's just a little bit older. I love it though. I love every Be the Beast ornament so the Hallmark makes. I have all of them. Naturally, I had to have that one. We're going to move on to magic ornaments. We have Lumiere here. This ornament's called Be Our Guest. So what do you think it's going to do, folks? Uh, Lumiere with his candlestick and the match. 
with pretty gold paint. He's on top of a cake. And what are those little things right there? Hmm. They're lights. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup to jewel, hot or dirt. Why, we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. Woo. It does a whole light show and they change the colors of the lights. So they're probably LED technology. I had to back, step, move my head back from the camera because the sound is bouncing off the table. Apparently it's trying to cause me to lose some hearing. Very cool. Then I've got one I'm not going to show you what it does right now. Maybe I'll do this in October when I have the last, the next one. This is the new Storyteller Star Wars one that came out today. This is the Millennium Falcon. Really nice. Han Solo's voice is in it. So are a few other voices. But yay. Um, I've already messed with it. I've had it play by itself. I've had it play with the other three. The other three that came out last year you can get again this year. If you miss them, I do recommend them. Of course, these are not cheap. This is $40. $39.99. Um, and you can, do get a power cord for free if you buy at least one of the Storytellers ornaments, the power cord operated ornaments. I think everything that came out right now is part of the Storytellers line, except for the carousel from Crayola. So, of course, I got the, like I said, I got the power cord. It wasn't on my wish list, but shoot, they're giving away for free. I'm taking one, you know? There it is. Very detailed sculpt. Okay. The next ornament here is Colors of the Wind with this world's most obvious looking button. I'm so shocked that I didn't try to at least paint it the color of the rock, but it's Pocahontas. There have been some reviews on here about how she looks, how her arms look like noodles, and the people said her face doesn't look like the character. It's not that great of a sculpt, but and I think I actually think her feet don't look like the character either. They look kind of like a bigger feet, like Moana maybe. It is what it is. It has been years since I've done Pocahontas, except for, of course, the Precious Moments. If you don't count Precious Moments, they haven't done Pocahontas ornaments since 1995, okay? That is over 20 years ago. So the whole generation of girls who loves Pocahontas haven't been able to get a Calmark keepsake ornament during their lifetime. It, meaning made during their lifetime. They haven't been able to get the Pocahontas ones. Now they can. It plays Colors of the Wind, which was a huge hit. I remember it being big, so we'll just play that. <laughs> Yeah, doesn't look as much like the character as it could. I think they did a bit better in 95. I'll agree with that. But I'm not shocked because sometimes a good portion of the time their Disney princesses don't look that great. I'm not sure why. I think the one they do the best with is Snow White and then they do really well with Aurora. The others, it's just sometimes they'll hit on one that looks like the character. I think the original Belle looked very much like the character. But, oh well. Just be glad she's back. In October we get Mulan back, so hallelujah that they're finally going after these princesses. Come on, baby. Come on. Get it? Come on. Uh, okay, that's a little better. There we go. Just be glad they're going back to these princesses they haven't done in a long time. Instead of constantly throwing out an Elsa ornament. Which they did. Um, they put out another Elsa ornament. Color me shocked. <laughs> Next we have 
Rolf the dog. He's the Muppet Swarmer for 2018. He's got his little piano. And his foot's way above the piano pedals. <laughs> he plays um, Eight Little Notes, which is from The Muppet Show, a little song he sings on The Muppet Show. All he used were eight little notes, just eight, count them eight like these. He'd mix and match and hatch a batch of catchy melodies. Now I could take two notes and come up with nothing of note. Mr. B took a G and a flattened E and wrote. Wouldn't that fantastic? Okay, so that is Jim Henson as Ralph, and I love that about the Muppets. It's, it's always been the authentic voices, and I didn't know they were going to actually do Ralph the dog. I was pleasantly surprised when I learned he was the Muppet they were going to do this year. I loved Ralph. I was little because I love dogs. So he's not my favorite Muppet, and he's not used very much, but it's nice to see him. I think they need to do Bunsen next because... We have a beaker ornament, but not a Bunsen ornament. I want a Dr. Bunsen honeydew ornament. Please, Hallmark, make it happen. Um, there's other stuff they could do. I'd love to see them do a Pigs in Space ornament from the Muppet Show with like Dr. Was it Dr. Link Hogthrob? It's great. And that has this pig in, of course. And I think, or is it just Link Hogthrob? And this the other one's Dr. There's no Doctor. Is it, that's Dr. Strange Pork? Is the other one? It's funny. Look that up if you've never seen um, pigs in pigs in space. It, it, on the it's the USS Swine Track Trek, like Star Trek. It's funny. So that's Rolf. Uh, Next we have a Fisher Price ornament. This is the Fisher Price ornament of the year, besides the miniature ornament. This is the Change a Tune piano. Fisher Price toys. Can you tell this is retro looking? Look at those birds. It's got the melodies it plays with the Muffin Man, Pop Goes the Weasel, and This Old Man. There's that. This is battery powered, the original toy. Which okay, my camera cut off for a second. There we go. Um, the original toy wouldn't be battery powered, but this one's battery powered. You work it by turning the knob on the side. So we'll turn the knob, so we'll change the song. Turn it again. Very cute, very charming. It's going to look great on my toy tree. You can kind of see in my retro room tour, my toy tree is on that video. And I hope they do more Fisher Price. I'm so happy this is back. This is such a cute little ornament. Next, also going to be featured on my toy tree. Actually, this one and the last one I want to show you will be featured there. This is the Donkey Kong ornament. I used to play this arcade game, and it was the exact same console back when my family used to go to Carolina Beach every summer. When I say my family, I meant my parents, my brother, myself, my grandparents, all their children and families too. So aunts, uncles, cousins, everybody. We used to all go every year, stay for three days at the exact same hotel. And usually at least at the end of one day, maybe more than one day, we would go down to the boardwalk we had the Midway games and a little arcade, and we would get on the way back. We'd get a snow cone. It's great. So I have now have bought back. I have bought the Pac-Man and Galaga Ormus from 2008, 2009, respectively. Well, as soon as I learned this was coming out, I quickly got them on eBay because they're gonna be expensive. This is so cute. Watch. <laughs> Adorable! 
like the Pac-Man ones built the same way where it has the flat screen and when you press the button it does the sound and everything. So is the Galaga. I really want them to do Centipede, although I don't remember if Centipede has noise that it does. Um, I would love to send to Mrs. Pac-Man and really I also adore a Disney crossover to have the Felix, Felix, uh, Fix It Felix Jr. console with uh, Wreck-It Ralph on there. That'd be so cute. So That's Donkey Kong. I think this one's going to do very well. But don't know. We'll see. Last ornament I bought is the glow worm. And turn this way. Forgot. I gotta turn it the opposite way where I think I gotta go. For some reason, brain's not connecting that. It's very hot out, as I'm sure most of you are like, suffering through right now. Glow worm. This is based off the original toy, the original glow worm that Hasbro brought out, which I had as a young child. I was given as a baby or maybe a one year old. Uh, you press the button on the side for the face to glow up, to glow. As a kid, the battery chamber is inside. You just squeeze it. Oh, let's see. The little face lights up. What actually turn it off? Oh, it doesn't do that. Okay, never mind. Most ornaments, you press the button and it will again. It will stop. Like, hold on. Have you ever cried? See, <laughs> just press this second time. At least modern ornaments, the original ornaments didn't do that. Ooh, look at it get dark. You can at least see the colors. Whee! <laughs> okay, so that's Glowworm. He's really cute. My store actually sold out of him on Wishlist as well. They didn't sell out to the point where they had to take the display, but they sold out of him. Because I went, first thing I did when I went to the store was to beeline it to go get Firefly <laughs> and my uh, power cord. Okay, so that's it for now. I did put in an online order since I'm a KOC member. I need to get some product shop items. And while I was there, I got some more miniature ornaments and another free set of the glass ornaments. And I got the Mickey Storytellers. Not the limited edition set. I didn't want to pay that much. It's actually it's more expensive. It's not worth it to get another drawing. Plus, I don't like those colors as much as the regular colors. So I only bought Mickey and Donald. And we'll get to see them in a future video. I'll do a haul video once that order comes in. And I'll also show you the KOC ornaments I got from the product shop in April. As well as the KOC box. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.